the next gauge is investor sentiment. And, uh, you know, I've been hearing in the news that uh, investor confidence is at all-time lows and, and that kind of thing. Um, I would assume that plays into uh, probably valuations, but the, this gauge as well right here, investor sentiment. Yeah, it really does. And I actually think the two most, you know, notable gauge changes, you know, that we see here is monetary policy, which we've already covered. But the other one is the one we're talking about now, investor sentiment. Investor sentiment is a contrarian indicator. So, you know, what that basically means is when people are in a bad mood, that generally means there's maybe some upside to the market because of the pessimism being the mm -hmm. dominant emotion. And the opposite is true. When optimism and euphoria and greed are more dominant, and as humans, we are kind of caught in that cycle sometimes, of course, we're seeing investor sentiment lows that are lower than we've seen in history, or at least the last 50 years or so since the University of Michigan has been measuring it. Um, you know, and, and what that really translates to is that there's a lot of sellers in the market. Um, you know, when this gauge is to the right at, at, on our gauge system, it basically means that there's a lot of pessimism in the market. Um, another indicator that we look to is kind of the volatility index or the industry folks call it the VIX. Um, volatility has been much higher in 2022 compared to 2021 and really you know, further gives us comfort in putting this gauge as far forward as we have it. The elevated levels of the VIX, you know, don't really reflect higher levels of concern in the market, but we've not, you know, seen a spike in the number. Pardon me, we've not seen a, a spike in the in the number this high in a while. Um, it, it's often these spikes in the VIX that coordinate with market lows. Um, so between the VIX and consumer sentiment being so negative, it does, you know, seem to indicate to us that there's a lot of negativity out there. And the forward returns historically after these really large troughs of, of confidence, you know, dropping tend to be, you know, relatively strong compared to, you know, times when people are feeling more excited or, you know, you know, happy and optimistic. So we're definitely watching. This is the most uh, volatile gauge by far of the five here. This gauge in the last two years, we've had it all the way over to <laughs> half negative to half positive. And, you know, it's kind of gone full circle. And right now we've got it almost about as positive as we can right now because of the extreme levels of lacking confidence and pessimism in the market today.